Hey, it's your girl, Nettie B. And it's Rima L. And you are tuned in to the Sugar and Spouse Podcast, where we'll discuss all the sugar, aka the tips and tricks to make your wedding planning journey a bit sweeter. And don't forget the spouse, which are ways to keep that spark alive before and after the I do's. We'll also highlight professional vendors. So without further ado, let's Let's get get into it. it. Hey, what's up? We're back again. Yo. Back like we never left. We was getting into the trends. I couldn't get enough. I was like, we need to deep dive. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need to take it further than fashion trends. Like, mm-hmm. what other trends are happening in the wedding world for 2024? Yeah, it's like trends in general is starting to be a moving thing because, you know, with social media, everybody wants to have the latest little reels and get their engagement up so if you want to be popping on instagram i guess or tiktok i don't know facebook oh, well, i mean like people ain't doing it just to do it you want people to watch it <laughs> yeah, you gotta true. stay on trend that is you gotta stay on trend and also just switch it up a little bit we, we both traditional girls we like a traditional wedding always but you know we other trends can be more fun um, absolutely yeah it makes it look fun too i love mm-hmm. watching them on instagram mm-hmm. what so, trends have you been hearing about all right so i want to dive into one of my favorite trends right. which is swapping out the flower girl so yeah you know traditionally you should have the flower girl but there's other things one really sweet one is having like the grandma be the flower girl yeah instead. that is or, really cute or, or like, no just have like a beer boy, a grown friend with a lot of personality coming down the aisle, handing out beers. Yeah. Um, yes. Bubble boy. The bubble boy, boy. The boy with the bubble guns. <laughs> or the adult males with the bubble guns. Just like have a lot of fun with it. Um, yes, yes. I guess that works if you have too many good friends and you can't make them all groomsmen. You can have a, a groom flower man i guess a beer boy a beer guy but yeah you know, i think that the role for that it has to be a friend with a lot of personality yes Don't get the person who's gonna be yes man so i loved seeing that i've seen one where the guy comes out and he has the pedals in his pockets and he's just like it's It's hilarious and it gets the party started early i love it yes it gets for like a fun that's just for like fun couples yes yes and another couple of videos i've been seeing too is that couples aren't sticking with the social norms of actual grooms men and Mm -hmm. brides maids they actually have best women instead of best man and man of honor i guess bridesmen if you will and there was some posts I've seen where these people will dress the part, you know? If it's a woman on the groom side, she's wearing the same colors as the other groomsmen. Same as the, the guy on the woman's side. He might be wearing the same colors to match the dresses of all the other girls. So I think that is shaking things up a bit and it's looking too cute. I love it. Very inclusive. <laughs> because, you know, no need to exclude your best friend if just because yeah. they aren't the same gender. They could still be including your wedding, standing right up there with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I love that trend. Um, okay, so here's another trend that's just pretty cool to bring up to your... Well, I'm just saying pretty cool because it's not my favorite. But it is really, really nice though. If done right, I'm sure. But it's kind of like drunken love lo- photos. So, yeah, the blurry ish. It's professionally done, but the mm-hmm. photos are look like they're taken like in action. So, mm-hmm. you kind of get to feel like you're reliving the party aspect of it or, you know, like just having a little blurry. Mm-hmm. Those shots are very artistic and nice. But for me, it's a no. No, I don't like it. But <laughs> I wouldn't be daring enough to do it. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. But like, if you feel like, oh, I want to look back on my pictures and I want them to be yeah. unique and I want them to, I want to actually like capture the essence to relive the party feel, 
That's, that's a, a good go. idea. That's mm-hmm. a good idea. Like, wow, look at they was having a great time. This picture's not even clear. It looks really nice. All right, when we'll post some on our mm-hmm. Instagram and probably pop some in here. But yeah, so you guys can see what we're talking about. Also, mm-hmm. I see what people are doing, and I think this is a great idea. And I wish I knew of this trend during my wedding time because okay. everyone wants a picture with the bride and groom. Everybody. Ooh, yeah. As soon as you come in, that first dance is over. You think you're going to that sweetheart table to sit down? <laughs> Wrong. You're going to take pictures. Lots and lots of them. But what people are doing now are they're seating the bride and groom or the married couple down. And mm-hmm. they're doing what well, I called it on Instagram, a photo, like a soul train reverse thing. Or what I, I called it a photo merry-go-round. That's what I called it. Oh. But it's really a photo blitz. So people are walking around in a circle, Mm -hmm. stopping, taking picture with the couple and keeping it moving. Everyone is just walking around and taking the picture. So that way it's done. You got your photo with the bride and groom. Now you can actually enjoy everything else and don't have to worry about being stopped to take another picture. I think that trend needs to go viral. Mm -hmm. That is smart. Way to save the money. Way to save time. Time. Without necessarily having to do like a first look or some other way to save time, that's actually a really good way because you get time in the space, you get time with your with your, all of your guests. Right. Which I, you know, which we always say sometimes the photos are where you wish you had more. Absolutely. Yeah. So the good things come after. After you done mm-hmm. do it, then you mm-hmm. see all these creative things people are doing online mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, you're what of that. So I do want to switch gears a bit about another thing um, that is trending, okay. which is in the decor realm. And that is the minimalism. No, now it's all about lux, like More. textures, colors. Like you want to see, you want to walk into the space and it's just like the hitting bam. Feel like you're in a garden, Phil, and you're going to see colors everywhere. Yes, it's like fully transforming spaces into a full vision of whatever. I've seen like floral looking gardens. It legit Mm -hmm. looks like a dinner party in a floral garden that's inside a venue that you've probably seen. And it's like, I would have never thought this place can be like this. So yes, that's where people are spending the books. Yes, in the decor. No more simple decor. Like trending in 2024 is definitely... Kind of over the top just going for it yes those and another tradition that seems to have gone out the window slowly but surely is the bouquet toss and the garter toss well sometimes couples do them but then the people who catch these things aren't reciprocating like old back in the day when it's like you sat down if you caught the bouquet Whoever caught the garter will come and put it on and entertain everybody. But now, I don't know if people are just embarrassed or... It's embarrassing. I don't know. I guess. But you don't got to get too down and dirty with it. Like, you know. No. I mean, it is it is a little awkward. I can see... <laughs> I, well, that's, it's gone now. <laughs> They're not doing it anymore. It's getting the... <laughs> cut out. So, I don't know. I thought it was fun. I thought the tradition of doing that would be fun. Unless it's like, I don't know, like a cousin who caught it. Like, yeah, you can just put that on my wrist. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, I've seen places where I've been to a couple of weddings where two people who should not be doing that have caught the bouquet and um, garter. And it's just really awkward. So <laughs> they don't yeah. do the dance, but it's just like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Some people get too down and dirty. Look, save your after our activity for that we don't need to see what you're gonna do later we don't need the floor slides and all that yeah stuff. it's too much and also it can get very dangerous especially the um the bouquet toss yeah some people are changing it up i've seen my mom actually sent me a reel where they had the bouquet in some sort of locked glass box mm-hmm. and i guess everyone had a key and they'll try their key and whoever key opened the box will get the bouquet Oh, that's cute. I like that. Mm-hmm. That's a nice idea. Not um, as dangerous as someone tackling you. They do have, I mean, I've seen that um, garter, that bouquet toss 
and even the Gardatos kind of get phased out. I yeah. can see, you know, right now they're just like, oh, if we decide to still do it, we're not going to do that weird dance at the end. But people are just opting out of it in general. Because um, mm-hmm. yeah. people have throw elbows. Yeah, yeah. They're like, let's skip this entirely and get back to the party. Speaking <laughs> of um, other things that are kind of like trending out, wild welcome parties and destinations mm-hmm. oh yeah so yeah. yeah like usually um i mean before like the welcome bag and like having this welcome party and all that brides are opted to like skip that going mm-hmm. forward in 2024 so that's mm-hmm. trending and i can see that happening like i had yeah, a just- had a nice welcome party I had a nice little welcome party, but it was not all the things I wanted. But now I'm happy. No, it was a vibe. I'm like, like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I I devastatingly couldn't do the things that I wanted for the welcome back fell through. So I ended up not doing it. And no one missed it. So these brides now understand. Like, that's smart. Absolutely. Because Mm -hmm. you get to the resort and... If you have a welcome party, we're not thinking about that bag. I have to get ready because we have mm-hmm. to get ready to be at the welcome party. And plus, it's a good time to meet people who you probably haven't seen in a long time, didn't know they were going to make the trip, or just know who's a part of the wedding party. So that way, maybe you're walking around the resort and it's like, hey, they're, mm-hmm. they're part of the wedding. You know? Yeah. Really I like that. It's so more laid back in... Um- you don't have to worry about it so mm-hmm. that's a pretty cool trend to spend your time and another thing that is starting to go crazy are these statement aisles oh they're doing different printed aisles s-shaped aisles um i know that i believe the jewish culture do aisles in the circle where the bridal party might come in from left and right and the bride and groom will come mm-hmm. straight forward so it's like a full rounded event it's given everything. yeah that's really nice oh there was this one statement aisle that i wanted so bad i think it's still in trend it's kind of looks like water it's like reflecting when you oh, walk down that is beautiful i've seen that at one wedding and it looks so nice it actually gives it like a nice glow from the floor on the floor yeah. yeah and it looks like you're kind of walking on water it's really beautiful um, yes definitely got to show you guys yeah. that one Another thing that's kind of like coming back in, which kind of um, I think coincides with like the decor being more luxe and stuff is right. having these um, table side interactions that happen, um, like statement p- things that are happening at the wedding. So, for instance, you might have a table side charcuterie board where like mm. somebody comes to each table and like cuts the meats and are like a um like a cigar bar oh yeah the cigar rollers and cigar rollers and or instead of having like an open bar or like a dessert they'll do like a tequila tasting mm-hmm. or a wine tasting or something like that something a little bit more interactive Mm-hmm. opting out of something else but like definitely something a little bit more interactive a tequila tasting is pretty cool i would love a tequila tasting mm-hmm. actually let's go get one right <laughs> i wish like yeah <laughs> that would have made my day oh my gosh <laughs> so that is good you like that one too and what i'm seeing too a lot of people are shying away from the big venues and doing more intimate ceremonies yeah. which are really nice like going to maybe like a state park or going to an airbnb like you know those big mansion airbnbs that mm-hmm. might sit on the water or something like that and just has mm-hmm. an open yard and you diy the heck out of it and personalize it to what you guys want that's amazing yeah I, I love that and in that case are they having like a bigger reception i'm not sure but it seems like it's more tight-knit really intimate maybe smaller groups and They'll go and probably do the full reception, have music, food, do whatever mm-hmm. traditions you want to do. But it's not really to the point of going to these high priced venues. And oh, then you have the nice landscaping behind you or mm-hmm. however you want to do it. It's really cute. 
Oh, speaking of which, intimate ceremonies, a good sugar tip too, which I think this might also be a trend, but like having like a midday, yes, midday ceremonies. That makes so much sense. So if you guys don't know, midday ceremony is a great way to like definitely save some coins and have an amazing time. You don't have to pay for a lot of things like for instance you don't have to do huge meals nobody's expecting a whole dinner the venues are going to usually be cheaper because it's mm -hmm. earlier um you can host them during the time where like yeah i think they call those the twilight packages or something like mm -hmm. that and definitely get a steal on having your wedding earlier oh you also do something so cute like a brunch bar yeah, like, it, and where you're, what do you use, like, serving, like, pancakes or whatever. Um, Brunch is serving everything now. You could make it, um, just be mindful that if you do host a wedding where you're not going to serve a full meal, where it would be, like, like refreshments, like, snacks or anything like that, mm -hmm. that you specifically note that in your um, invitation. Please do not be shy about it. People will understand. They will come fed. They'll be ready. So, you know, and it's so, early. It's, it's early. early. Even if they're not hungry, you know, they'll be out by noon, by like two, three. And then you can go to dinner afterward. Afterwards and just go about your day. Um, yeah. And it's, it's awesome. So or continue people. the party back at the hotel. Yeah. Or have an after party. It makes have sense. Party. Yeah. And it'll if you have party. people, parties are lit now too. Exactly. So, it'll be a wedding day party. You can also do that. So who doesn't love a day party? You come, right. You get to get a nap and you can still go about your day. Yes. Yes. You still have your day with a day party. It, so that's mm -hmm. the idea. I think that's a great tip. Yeah. And also what I see that they're changing from tradition to trendy, I guess, are the guest books. You remember that Ooh. book? When you come in, you see the book and the pen and you're supposed to sign, but nobody really signs it. <laughs> now they're doing audio guest books. So they're like telephones or telephone booths and you can go in hear the couple give a, a message and ask you to leave them a message and you can personalize it to however you want it's kind of private because you're just picking up the phone hey that's the plug don't go to bed bad you know all those tips that people give at weddings hang up the phone and go about your day so yeah. i think that is a Smart and very, very good idea because I can't even tell you where my guest book is. Well, I think it's also pretty cool too for people who are doing destination weddings because then, you know, you guys don't have to worry about possibly misplacing the uh, book or anything like that. And it's also really nice to hear people's voices and it could even be hilarious as the open bar keeps going on and then people come back <laughs> yes yes and i'm sure it might be open to people who couldn't make it to a destination wedding. oh they that's true your message that's really nice that's true. that is so true so yeah those are some pretty cool trends on what's coming in so yeah our endless so now let's oh, what oh, about, oh you know i was thinking about social media trends oh yeah like the transitions have yeah, you seen those? yeah. Have you seen the one recently that is like a group of friends and like they're all getting married within the same year and they're all um like in each other's weddings? So what they'll do is like, you know, they'll all line up and then they'll line up with a bride, whoever's the bride and the other ones in their bridesmaid dress, snap or you know, do a cheer and then the next girl in line. Is the is on her gown, and then all the girls are dressed like the bridesmaids, and they keep going on. It's so cute. That is cute. You definitely have to have that organized friend keep track of all of that and make sure it happens at yes. everyone's wedding. Because clearly, that's not weekend after weekend. So no, of course not. <laughs> put it together, it will be amazing. That's like a montage to your friendship. I love that. Yes. And also, like the transitions where the bridal party the bride will be with the bridal bridesmaids and then mm -hmm. they'll be like you know their robes or in their pajamas mm -hmm. and like you see them walking out so let's say if this mic is the door you see them walking and then it's just the bride and it's oh. kind of like oh hey wait gotta get my girls she comes back <laughs> gets the girls and now everyone's dressed so 
there's different transitional type of reels that's happening now too. That's really eye catching. Yeah, there's always going to be, a, I feel like, social media trends. I don't think that they're going to just disappear within the next year. Sugar tip on this is that a point a bride me to or to to be in charge of making sure that any of these real trends or oh, yeah. TikTok trends that you want to do actually happen because the day of you will not be concerned about you're not even thinking about it you're not going to be thinking about it you're just going to be getting ready mm-hmm. and you're just going to be in the moment um and it does take a little bit of organization so make sure that you are very explicit to which whoever person and if you don't have bridal party like maybe mm-hmm. if you're someone by yourself just make right. sure maybe you ask like your, your family member or someone there to help you achieve these and they will make sure it happens because your bridesmaids they're like no we gotta make sure you get what you want and mm-hmm. if that's what you're looking for don't be surprised when they're like hey remember you wanted to do that reel that we saw here i got the audio let's get it let's, let's do go. it let's go stand in line you girl don't get dressed on there yet let's go that's what you need you need your that's team and your tribe bring it together so yeah